Welcome back to another video. Today, I'll be helping you guys in making that decision on which pad, hockey goalie pad to choose. So, first off, you're going to want to choose between a hard and a soft pad. And the difference between them is a hard pad gives off some hard rebounds. And in those hard rebounds, you have to direct your rebound properly. Else, it's going to go into the slot and give it right to a person. And it's going to be very bad. And... The other thing you have to choose from is a soft pad. A soft pad gives off soft rebounds, but like the rebounds are right in, come right in front of you. You have an easier jo uh, job of freezing the puck right after a sh low shot. But if you don't freeze that puck after the last shot, low shot, it's going to give off a nice rebound straight to the next person that's going chasing for the rebound, which is going to give them a very easy goal. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to think about is the breaks on the pads. So there's there's a no break pad, there's a single break, and there's a double break. The no break pad is good with for people that have a wider butterfly because you have to flare out your legs more to close that hole, the five hole, and because it's gonna be, and it's also a, a stiff pad. It's going to make the pad a lot stiffer and less flexible in those areas where there would be knee breaks where there is none inside the, the no break pads. Now in the single pads, in the single break pads, the break is below the knee and it adds a little extra flexibility below the knee in that area. And, and single break pads are good for the goalies that need an extra, like, help to close that five hole because it adds a little extra flexibility in that area it helps close that five hole instead of having uh your legs don't have to be flared out as much as they would be if you would be doing it if you would have a no break pad for the double break goalie pads the double break is below the knee and the brakes are below the knee and above the knee now for those pads those pads help with gives you a le little extra flexibility in the areas of where the brakes are, which are below the knee and above the knee, like I said. But it adds uh, even more help to the goalies that need some extra flexibility to close that five hole. So you don't have to have much of a, you don't have to have very flared out legs. Another thing you have to think about when choosing your pad is the strapping system, whether it's synthetic leather straps with buckles or it's gonna be Velcro. Now the advantages of having Velcro is that it's very it's much lighter than l synthetic leather straps with buckles. Another thing you're not going to want to forget about when you're choosing the pad is the toe tie system. Whether it's laces or it's pro laces, you have to know what you want. This for this there's no advantages to any of them. It's all about preference. For me, I'd rather pro laces just because they're, uh, they're bungee and it's not like regular laces where, they, uh, where they're stiff and there's no uh, flex to them. Another thing you should be thinking about when choosing your pad is how, the, the, how your knee lock is put. Now, for the, the knee, where you put your knee, some pads have the padding on the front of the pad on the inside of the pad, but on the front and not on the side, but we don't go on. We don't. Uh, we don't go on our knees. We're not go. We're not on the ice on our front of the pads anymore. We're only in butterflies. Like we're not like uh, how it was, uh, back then in the nineteen hundreds, where the the goalies went on their knees to stop the puck on uh, on the front of their pad. Now we're on the side of the pad doing a butterflies. So I would go for pads that have a little more room so your knee could rotate more. Another thing so many people think about when they're choosing their pad is on how the pad looks or with the color schemes and the, and the patterns. Obviously that doesn't really matter, but if you wanna, you wanna like what you see on your pad and how it looks. So if you're not gonna be happy with how your pad looks, then there's no point in my opinion there's no point of getting it if you're not going to be happy with it so so you always have to like what it looks like also
but that's not the most important thing you should look at be looking at thanks for watching the video i'll see you in the next one